Welcome to NYP Music Theory. Today, our harmonic analysis is Bach Chorale R7 Session B from the Albert Riemann Schneider edition. Nun lob mein Ziel den Herren. Now praise my soul, the Lord. Let's get started. Session B starts with A major. So let's prepare all the triads in A major and the related key chart. Session B has eight phrases. That is from three to 10. We have discussed about session A, phrases one to two in the last video. If you have not watched that video, you can click the link from the description below before you carry on. The third phrase starts with A major and ends with F sharp minor. Modulation is confirmed by the E sharps. and the perfect cadence 5-1. From A major to F sharp minor is abrupt. Through the chromatic movement E to E sharp in the tenor part. This F sharp minor 1 chord functions as a pivot chord as in E major 2. The D sharp here is the leading note of E major, but there is a D natural in the next bar. We analyze it as secondary dominant. 5-7-D of 4 resolves to 4-B or temporary modulation A major 5-7-D to 1-B. The fourth phrase ends in E major with a perfect cadence and the leading note D sharp. The fifth phrase uses the pivot chord E major 6 equals to A major 3. This brings us back to A major. At the end of the phrase, a modulation to D major occurred here with the G natural and a perfect cadence. In the sixth phrase, a B minor with a tears difficulty is observed. The D major 6 is equal to B minor 1 as a pivot chord. The A's here have no sharp because they are passing notes and look like the melodic minor descending. But the A's in the next bar are the clues for modulation to B minor. The E major chord in the beginning of the seventh phrase proves that the key of A major is back. However, the G naturals in these two bars change the key to D major. Take note that the soprano is going down a fifth. That's why the bass has to be harmonized with the first inversion of 5-7. There is a 7-6 suspension used in the tenor part. The B is prepared by the previous note in the 4 chord and then comes to the downbeat, a 7th above the bass and then resolve downwards to a 6. The 8th phrase is in E major, proved by the D sharp and the perfect cadence. There is a 4-3 suspension used in the alto part. The E is a chord tone from the 4 chord and then becomes a suspension, a fourth above the bass, and then resolve downwards to three. That is the D sharp and a leading note to E major. The ninth phrase continues with E major, a sixth chord. We can take this D sharp and the A as a passing note, or we can take this D sharp as a chord tone from 7B and the A from a chord tone of 5-7. Towards the cadence, the approach chords are uncommon. The 5B is a minor chord, 7 major 7, and then 7 half diminished 7 resolves to 1. This special harmonization may be due to text painting. I will explain this term and provide the lyrics for your reference in the description below. Finally, phrase 10 goes back to A major. Begin with a secondary dominant, 5B of 6 resolves to 4B. And then at the end, the chorale wrapped up with a 1C571. Now let's listen to it.
Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful or interesting, please subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.